Live from the Quicken Loans Arena in Cleveland, it's the Cleveland Cavaliers and the San Antonio Spurs. Hi everybody, Marv Albert along with Steve Kerr. They're just about set for the introductions. Let's go to the public address. All right, Cleveland! Here are tonight's starters for your Cleveland Cavaliers. Starting in the guard, number one, Daniel Gibson. Starting at forward, number 90, Drew Gooden. Starting at the other forward, number 23, LeBron James. Starting at center, number 11, Zydrus Ilgaskis. Starting at the other guard, number 32, Larry Hughes. Steve, as this one gets going, what's the game plan for Cleveland? Barth, they're going to have to find a way to contain Tim Duncan. He's relentless with his pressure that he puts on the defense. Such a force down on the low block, and he really is the key to this team. All right, Tim, a perennial all-NBA first-teamer, MVP of the finals in 2005, your one-time teammate of Tim Duncan's. What makes him such a, a special player? He's not a rah-rah type guy in terms of being a leader. Well, he's a superstar player, two-time MVP, and yet he acts like he's one of the guys. So he's really uh, one of the most popular players on that team. Very well respected. Parker walks to the front court. Clock with five seconds remaining. Finley has to hurry, and Michael Finley comes up short. Back come the Cavaliers again. Oberto coming over with some help defense. Accelerates. Gibson looking for that low post. Drew Gooden able to beat the double team. Parker moving to the front court. Delivery to Duncan. Shot clock is down to seven. Parker with the shot. And Tony Parker to the line. He's 78% at the line. Tony Parker, Mark, in the 2005-2006 season was among the league leaders in both points in the paint and field goal percentage. So it's an indication of how quick he is and how difficult he is to contain. He just penetrates at will, creating scoring opportunities for himself and for his teammates. by Parker. What a pass. Duncan giving no room. And he puts it down. Four second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. Gibson trying to stay in front of him. Here's the double. Gooden on the rebound. Here's James. And LeBron James able to flip it home. The assist to number one, Daniel Gibson. Four seconds remaining. And Michael Finley not able to hit. And he flings it. Larry Hughes. Beautiful job with one second remaining in the quarter. That's the end of the first. The Cavaliers lead by nine. Steve, what a start. They have really set the tone. Well, Marv, they did exactly what they wanted to do. They were efficient at both ends of the floor. They really got the crowd into the game. They got a nice, comfortable lead here heading into the second quarter.
right, we're ready. They're setting it up. Parker to the front court. Here's Parker and scores. Parker's always had a bit of a flat shot, Mark, but he's worked hard the last couple of seasons to get a little more arc on it. Here's the switch. Gooden posting his way. Here's Gooden. That will count and the foul. That's impressive, Marv. The dunk following a hard foul. I don't know what it's like to be the offensive player in that situation, but I do know what it's like to be the defensive guy. Gooden, of course, played his college ball at the University of Kansas, Marv, before being drafted by the Memphis Grizzlies. Was traded to Orlando and then moved on to Cleveland from there. One of the better offensive rebounders in the NBA. He took it away. Here come the Cavaliers. The pass picked off. Parker walking it up. Open opportunity. And Tony Parker not able to hit. Delivery to Hughes. Yes. Beautiful transition basketball. The nice outlet leading to the numbers at the other end. That's how this team has built this lead. Gooden for the block shot. Here's Duncan. And Tim Duncan not able to hit. That's a shot you have to make, more of Something close to the basket like that. It's a waste of a good offensive possession. Here's James. And LeBron James lowers the layup. Parker again. And Tony Parker able to lay it home. We're down to the final seconds. Hughes again. And Larry Hughes off the mark. And halfway through this one, the Cavaliers lead by nine.